I admit it, I rent where I live and I think it's a game changer. In fact, I think it's one of the biggest reasons why I've managed to scale my property business so quickly. So, sorry, you're wrong, I'm right. So yeah, I rent where I live. I know. I control over 40 properties at the moment. I own five and I rent where I live. And people always don't get it. They're like, hang on a minute, why, why do you choose to rent where you live? Isn't that dead money? You know that whole one. Renting is dead money. That's what I always get. But I'm gonna share with you right now why I think that's wrong. We was taught wrong as kids, okay? And this new wave, it's different. It's different, it's 2020, you've got to think differently. Today I'm going to share with you exactly why I rent where I live and invest in cash flow and properties instead. So the traditional dangerous thing that we was taught was you want to get on the property ladder. So I know, I know, I know you're watching this right now. You know, you and your other half, you've got 30, 40k each, you're going to club together, okay? And you're going to buy this beautiful home that you're going to live in. Congrats, that's amazing, I'm pleased for you. And disclaimer, these are just my opinions, I'm not saying I'm right, and further disclaimer, if you've got a family and you need security, this may not apply to you. But let's just say you've not got too much commitments, you put 80 grand into one property, you've now got a mortgage of say 1,500 pound, two grand a month that you need to find. Because you've overextended, obviously, get the best possible house you can get. So now you guys need to work in your jobs to pay for that mortgage and all your capital is tied up in one property. The danger with that is you may never ever get the opportunity to save money again. You got a noose around your neck and that's the mortgage. So a lot of people just get stuck there and they're in the rat race and they have to constantly work to pay this big mortgage and then keep up with the Joneses. So you're gonna need the two cars the holiday, the two dogs, kids are on the way. So you can see the dangers of that. So I personally, being like you, decided I don't need to buy where I live right now. What I'll do is I'll rent, and this is my place, I rent this apartment, nice and cheap, low, low expenses, low overheads, nice, nice area, but low overheads. Any issues, I just call the landlord up, call the agent up, they sort the boiler, no additional expenses. And then I invest that 80K or whatever it is you've got into properties that pay me. With that 80K, you could easily invest in cash flowing assets, whether that be rent to rent or purchases that can generate more income, more cash flow, passive income that will pay for your standard of living. It will pay for your rented accommodation. It could even pay for your bills, your phone bills, your gym membership, meaning that all the money you earn in your job, you can save and it compounds and allows you to build. And that's what I've done. I resisted the temptation to buy where I live. Not forever, just delayed it. And then that's allowed me to now buy six properties. Um, and I'm gonna just continue to build on that and build on that. Not only has it done that, but it's allowed me to do over 40 rent to rent deals. So now I'm financially independent. I can choose now whether I work. And the great thing about it is the money, the pot, it's not in one property, it's working. Um, Rich Dad Poor Dad says, you know, if you think the property you live in is an asset, you're wrong. It's a liability because it's taking money off you every single month. So, hope you found that useful. I've actually done a podcast on this exact topic. I'll link it in the description to this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.